two and six. Parents, you will want to listen up for the next few minutes. Bullying is something many students will face as they head off to school today. Many teachers will be getting a unique tool in helping curb the problem. Joining us this morning is Fabian Ramirez, a renowned bullying prevention expert, along with Ikamet Burley, the director of Harris County's Department of Education Center for Safe and Secure Schools. Good morning, gentlemen. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Fabian, tell us more about the event that's going to be taking place, the workshop, and, and what you're going to be presenting. Sure. Uh, I'm going to be doing a training for uh, educators um, about bullying, bully prevention, and kind of figuring out and helping them, giving them tools on how to help students um, kind of vent out their emotions, you know. Um, what happens is that hurt people tend to hurt people. And so we got to look at the human factor of bullying, not just what happens after the fight. A lot of people hear bullying, they think of physical people pushing, you know, throwing people books down, back, mm -hmm. back. But we're going to talk about the emotional issues that a lot of students have. Okay, now you've been a victim of bullying. Absolutely. Uh, how did that affect your life? Absolutely. It has a psychological impact on me. Like there are certain things that even trigger certain people, certain smells even uh, from middle school. Even, I'm a speaker. I go into schools. Sometimes even walking up into those steps, walking into the school has a trigger in my mind that says, man, this could be a safe place or it could be a place of torment. And, uh, and usually it's all in my mind. But it's, it's all a victim mentality. You know, victims walk into a school and they say to themselves, how are people going to treat me? But an influencer will say, how can I treat others? Oh, See, there's a difference, yeah. Now, Ikamet, what do you hope is going to be learned from today's workshop? Well, hopefully we can support our educators in the school districts here in Harris County and the surrounding area, have more tools in their toolbox to help them with this bullying problem. Uh, certainly the research is there that many students are bullied every day. And if we can stem the tide right now by giving them more information on this particular topic, we think we are doing what we are designed to do at Harris County. Now, bullying is just one of the topics that the Center for Safe and Secure Schools tackles. What are some of the other issues you have to deal with? We also work with our schools on emergency management planning, and that's a big role that we play. Each year, every three years, the state requires all schools to do a safety audit, a school safety audit of their facilities. We do that for them. We also bring in additional training and staff development for their administrators so that we can help them have learning environments where teachers can teach and students can learn. What is going to be, let's say, the, the take-home message for someone who attends the workshop? I think it building relationships with kids. That's important. Kids need to be able to come and talk to the teacher or to their significant others, whether it's their parents. And I think it's important for teachers and educators to become uh, and develop good relationship with their kids so that they feel free to come and tell them if they are being bullied. So we hope that that would be something that would be taken away today and we'd give them some tools to help them develop those relationships. Fabian, why is it so important to hit the teachers and the administrators and teach them about bullying. Absolutely. You know, teachers these days, they have a lot on their plate. And so if we can come in and just give them one or two different um, just techniques that they can use in the classroom, right? We could train them on to help students, like how to implement the golden rule, for example, which a lot of these teachers already have it, like, on their poster, right? Treat others the way you want to be treated. Exactly. Yeah, but what does that look like? Because if we could train our kids how to respond to bullies, mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the first step into it. Because they can't control bullies, but they can control how they respond to them. Yes. Amazing. Fabian Hermides, Ikamet Burley, thank you so very much for joining us here. Very thank important information for our parents to hear. Thank you for having us. Yes, indeed. Thank you.